friends today we will be going over blocks and GCD so what's a block a block is simply a chunk of code that you can define it into a variable send it as an input to a method or send it across view controllers this is a block and a block is a complete C API that means we will not be using any any stars or any any columns for that so the syntax of a block block literally starts with a caret sign Whenever you see a caret sign in your JTC, that means we are starting with a block. See a caret sign, we see a block. After the caret sign, we have the inputs, usually, and this is the implementation of the block. And the input parameters are options, as you all know. And second thing is that, so you cannot access outside variables, outside the block variable inside the block. You can only get the values, but you cannot set the values to, so to set the values also you need to define block before it so you need to say block before the variable and then only you can use it inside the inside the block okay now this is the syntax to define a block type def the return type caret sign the name of the block and the input parameters that's how you define the type of a block and then you have to make a variable of it to uh, uh, once you make a variable of it then only you can use a block so let's do an example let's make a new new project single view application create so in our dot h file we will define a block syntax is type def uh, type def uh, we want a void return type and then you have to follow the exact syntax I'm just saying block define and then I will say the return type I do not want to give any input parameter so it's empty okay now you have to make now let's start with void view did appear then you say block now we have to define the variable of the block block define block where okay so now you define a block with a variable of a block on the type def now you have to give the implementation inside it equals to caret sign that's how you define a block and inside the block you will say ns log hi how are you now you can also say this is the second line now let's just simply call the block because this is an instance variable you can think of and all the syntax because we are not giving an input parameter so you have to use these empty brackets and you have to use these kind of stuff Now if you run it, okay, so it's working. So what happened? So we defined a block by saying type def void block define. And once we define the block, after we define the block, then we define a variable of a block because we can't work with this type def. This is only to define the block. Like you have function signatures, the same way we have the function. Uh, we have the block signature this is a block signature and now we're gonna make it of make it a variable of the block and now the block contains the uh, contains the implementation and this implementation and then we call the block now you can do it whatever you want you can send it as a variable or now you simply have a block now you can make variations to it by giving it a return type integer so it will return a value so you have to say any return integer you can say return return sign so now you can just say and okay so this will save the return type and then you can print out or play with the integer So 
तो ये सक्सेसफुल प्रिंटेड आउट थी सो सी वॉट हैपन द ब्लॉक वेरिएबल वॉज कॉल्ड एंड द इनपुट द रिटर्न वैल्यू वॉज सेव इन टू द वेरिएबल खे एंड नाउ द खे इज प्रिंटेड आउट बाई यूजिंग परसेंटेज डी सेवन ओके नाउ दिस टॉप साइन इज नाउ इट हैज टॉप दैट ओके दैट्स हाउ यू डिफाइन अ ब्लॉक यू यूज इट एंड देन यू प्रिंटेड आउट variables and now you can also send it as an input to the methods so let's make a method with a with a block so now let's just make a method is a method for block now what is the type def block define Let's give it a name BB. Okay. So basically, you have the BB now. Mm, now you just simply execute BB. Now you also have to return your int. Int G equals to BB. G. Okay. And from over here, we will call this method now. No problem. Okay, now. now you have to define it over here. I guess you also need. Method for block, and then you give this block block where. So what is happening? So you made this method, which will have it. It will take an input of type block, and inside this method, you are calling this block. Okay, so it works. And now let's make more variation. Now we have to give it an input type of int k. Yeah, this is the syntax. And then after this one, we're gonna find it over here. So over here, we're gonna have the input to this. Okay, so we're gonna return k now. So we got this input, and now whenever we call this method, we have to give an input to it. Six. So the input will go over there, and now whatever number we given as an input, that number will be printed. Okay. Now if you give nine, okay, guys. So simply we just made a block. We made a method which takes an input as a block, and then inside this method we define this. So we simply just all the block now and that's it this is the whole concept of a block you make a block make it into a variable implement it make a method and then you implement the method and then you call the block from the method So you can also like just simply allocate blocks without using the definitions of the block or stuff. So like over here, 
you can just simply not give the block where you can just simply give this over here since this one takes a block you are now you're giving a block So now you give block to it. Now this block is of type block defined, so it needs to have an input value and needs to have a return value. And it will work the same way. So it works. Okay, and now you can just remove this part if you wish to. This whole part. You don't need this anymore. Because we're sending an input to the block, which will take the block, and then we are doing this part. So we're basically not using variables anymore. We are just simply giving the blocks in place. Okay. And that's all about the blocks.